waves, part four, interference of light waves and sound waves. Now let's look at interference of light waves. We're monochromatic, which means light of one color or one frequency. When monochromatic light waves from two coherent or two consistent light sources overlap or interfere, an interference pattern can be seen on a screen, here's a screen, as a series of bright and dark fringes. You can see that. So what we need to have is, first of all, one single point source of light. And the light waves from that source will go through these two narrow gaps, forming two sources. That way you get coherent light waves. We can't really see light waves, but we can see the effect of light waves when they hit the screen. They show up as bright and dark spots or fringes. Look at the central line here. That is a line of constructive interference and it's shown up as a bright spot. Same as that one, same as that one, and so on. Where there is destructive interference, uh, they are shown up as dark spots. Dark spot here, destructive interference, same as that one, same as that one, and so on. Now we look at the theory for the interference of light. Here we have two light sources producing light waves, and when the waves hit the screen, then you can see a series of bright and dark fringes. And you don't have to know all the mathematical details here. You just have to be aware that there are two important formulas for interference of light waves. Look at this one here. N stands for order number, lambda, wavelength. D is the distance between the two light sources. X is the distance from the central line to the point in question, this point P here. L is a distance from the sources to the screen. For this formula here, theta is the angle there between the central line and the line drawn from the middle of the two sources to the point in question. So remember that, be aware of these two formulas. This example here shows you how to use these two formulas correctly. Work through this yourself. Question here, answer there. I've highlighted these important pieces of information to make things easier for you. For example, this is the wavelength. That's the distance between the two slits, D. And that is the distance, L. And that is the order number, th 3 third bright fringe. Now we look at interference of sound waves. The two sources of sound waves are two loudspeakers. When two loudspeakers give out sound of the same frequency, amplitude, an interference pattern of sound waves can be produced. At the nodal lines, where there is destructive interference, the sound will be soft. So this one here, along this nodal line. That one there, along this nodal line here. At the anti-nodal lines, the sound will be loud due to constructive interference. So this sort of line, this one, that one. And so you get spots of loud and soft sound. 